This is Eyewitness News. A mother fighting for change inside women's prisons after her daughter was beaten to death by her cellmate just weeks before she was set to be released. Welcome back. I'm David Ona. And I'm Colleen Sullivan. Giovanna Lara and Mark Brown are both off tonight. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5 live on ABC7, Hulu Live, and wherever you stream. The incident happened inside the California Institution for Women in Chino nearly six years ago. The California Department of Corrections has agreed to a $3.5 million settlement with the woman's family. And Linda Barr Bureau Chief Rob McMillan spoke to her mother about the case and her hopes for the future. Now, I understand there's punishment. But this dehumanization, people wouldn't even allow that to happen in a dog kennel. It's been almost six years since Sherry Graves' daughter Shailene died in prison, allegedly beaten to death by her own cellmate. And now a $3.5 million settlement with the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Graves' attorney saying that if prison guards had done their job, Shailene would not have died. There were so many red flags here, and if any one of those red flags had been picked up, Shailene Graves would be alive today. Her nickname was Light Blue because they said whenever she would come into anybody's room, she would just light up the room with her personality. But Graves says around the time her daughter turned 18, she got into trouble. So 18-year-old had been sheltered, wanted to be accepted, um, started running with the wrong people. Graves says her daughter was busted for driving the getaway car in a robbery. For that, she spent nearly eight years in prison. In May 2016, only a few weeks before she was scheduled to get out, Graves says her daughter was growing increasingly concerned about threats made by her cellmate. She told my mom, this cellmate is crazy. She's like, I got to, you know, I got to get out of here. I got to get a bed, move this and that. According to the lawsuit, prison guards repeatedly denied her requests for a new bed, saying the only place she'd be able to move was to punitive solitary confinement. Days later, she says her daughter was beaten to death by her cellmate. It was like uh, from reality to a dream. You know what I mean? Like, this can't be happening, and this couldn't have happened. Graves says part of her did not want to settle the case. She says she wanted a trial. I wanted them to have to stand up there and answer for this. She won't get a trial, but as part of the settlement, she'll be allowed to give a presentation to prison wardens, a chance to make change to what happens behind the walls of women's prisons. Do you think they're going to listen to you? My prayer is that they do. This afternoon, the CDCR issued a statement saying, quote, CDCR takes the safety of those in our care very seriously, and we work hard to provide a safe and secure environment at all of our institutions. It is our hope this settlement will bring some closure to Ms. Graves' loved ones. Rob McMillan, ABC7 Eyewitness News.